Okay, so how do we start to share things that we we start to collate in ArcGIS Pro? Maybe we do some analysis, maybe we do some definition queries, maybe we symbolize things really nice and we want to be able to share that to our ArcGIS online account or our portal, depending if your organization has enterprise or not. Three main ways, three most commonly used ways to share things from ArcGIS Pro in general is if we go to the share tab here, we have a whole bunch of different options, right? And if you develop your own symbology, if you develop your own deep learning models and your own geoprocessing tools and data stores and all sorts of stuff that we have options for, but three ones to keep in mind because they're the three most commonly used. I want to say these ones are used 80, if not 90% of the time when sharing outputs from ArcGIS Pro. Number one is project. Okay, so you package up a project, either share to ArcGIS online or portal or save it locally, right? Uh, and you just package up, very useful for archiving if you're saving it locally or very useful if like, you know, you want to share with an external consultant or contractor and you have all your data, you can package it up in an offline file, make it available if you don't have existing share groups or, you know, uh, uh, somebody you're working with is not part of your XGIS online organization. You can use project. You can use web map, which packages up all the different data sets, converts them to a feature layer and creates a web map in your ArcGIS online account that you can choose to share, right? Either via your organization, your share groups, et cetera. And then the third option we have is to just share the individual data set itself as a feature layer. And a few different options when it comes to it. So project, we can click on this icon, web map, we can click on this icon, or the one, the, the process I'll show you right now is that if we right click any one of these, say schools geocoded, and we right click it, we go down to share, and we can share as web layer. Now, if I open this up, it'll take a second to load, but the idea here is that you give it a name, give it a summary, give it a tag, right? As, as you would do with anything in ArcGIS Online or Portal. The layer type then, you know, stick with feature that if we're talking about vector data, it's it's typically a feature, right? Points, lines, or polygons. Tiles, vector tiles can be used, but it's very niche projects. Again, if you have folder set up, you can choose one or you can say share with everyone, my AGOL organization, any groups I'm part of. Uh, but the idea here is the same, that I just go in, my name, summary, give it a tag. I'm just copy and pasting these things in. Either one of these options, project, web map, web layer, all follow the same thing. Give it a name, give it a summary, right? And go through the options. But then we always want to hit analyze, right? Best practice is you hit analyze when we go to share things. And the idea behind analyze is it's going to pick up you know, any problems in your data set, if you're sharing a web map, maybe there's multiple coordinate systems that you didn't see, right? And we need to go back in and rectify each one. But just to show you what it looks like if we have like a showstopper and a showstopper is this white X within a red circle, we might have warning signs like, hey, you know, this one doesn't have a feature symbology set. Wh whatever it is, it might give you a warning, but it, it'll let you publish either way. But if we go in and this is a showstopper, unique numeric IDs are not assigned. What, what does that mean, right? If you click on these three dots, the first option is always gonna be in bold and that's gonna tell you how you can resolve it. So you can go to help, right? And it's gonna open up um, you know, the, the ArcGIS documentation and say, oh, look, you know, how, how to get around its solutions. Or the alternative option is to go in here click the first option, which is in bold. That's gonna open up your map options. And it just so happens that this error message comes up anytime you're first publishing a feature layer or first publishing 
a web map from a new ArcGIS Pro project. And it says, allow assignment of unique numeric IDs. Unique numeric IDs are not assigned. So to assign them, I'm gonna check this box, click OK, click Analyze again. This should just turn uh, to a little green check, but if you wanna analyze it again, you can do so. But the idea, the idea then is that you hit publish, it'll spin away, publish it to your ArcGIS online or portal account and away you go. But there are the three main ways you can share outputs from ArcGIS Pro. Package up your project, package up your, your web map, right? So your map view, everything within your map view gets packaged up to a web map or share out individual data sets from bearing in mind Choose analysis first. That'll tell you if there's any error messages associated with what you're trying to publish. Then from there, once that's resolved, uh, which it gives us, you know, a path to resolve things either via the help documentation or click on those three dots, see what's in bold and go from there. Let Pro help you out to resolve those issues. And then we just hit publish. And that is how, and that's a rough and ready way of sharing within ArcGIS Pro most commonly used ways, yeah?